Have you guys ever spent time in a place where the beauty and the culture just changed your life? One thing that I learned from people in Germany is to just make it a point to just get outside and enjoy life. So that's what we're gonna do in this video and I'm taking you guys with me. So let's just get outside and enjoy the beauty of Bavaria. So you're in a hurry. Well, you better calm down. We're all friends around you. Just join the fun. I'm on my way to one of my favorite places around here, but I'm gonna take it slow. Because for me in Bavaria, it's just as much about the journey as it is the destination. A lot of times when you're going to a place in Bavaria, you don't take the Autobahn. You go through the countryside and the small towns and I love that. I think a lot of times German people get mad at me because I drive slow, but I'm not gonna be here forever. I gotta take it in. I gotta learn things. Like what are these hobbit holes right here? I mean, I know they're for storage, but why in the ground? Why in the ground, Bavaria? So this quiet little town is called Waldeck, and it's special because it sits next to this hill with beautiful hiking trails around it and castle ruins on top. And that is today's destination. It's cool because there are goats and sheep that kind of roam all over this hill that kind of make it feel older somehow. So 2020 has been rough and I've been trying to stay positive. So I love coming to beautiful places like this and just getting outside. Um, one of the reasons why it's been so rough for us is because we actually have to leave. We have to leave real soon. Like, I mean, two weeks soon. So this is actually gonna be my last video for you guys in Germany. So I decided to come to one of my favorite places because I wanted to reflect on my time here and share that with you guys and also share this beautiful place with you. If I died and went to heaven and met God, and he said, welcome to heaven, Andrew, I would say, okay, this looks about right. So can you guys tell me what this cave is? I walked in this cave and it's just open and I walked back in there just room after room after room after room until I couldn't see anymore. Um, and I don't have a flashlight with me, so it's kind of creepy and I don't know what it is. Um, but it goes like, I think it goes underneath the, the castle ruins because the castle ruins are right up there. And it's just open and I don't know what it is. So if you guys know what it is, please leave it in the comments section and let me know. Um, because I'm very interested in it and it's just open. I love how it's just open. I feel like in America it would be boarded up, but you know how we are. So that's not a bad little hike if you walk all the way around and up, it gives you a little workout. And we're almost to the top and I'm really excited to show you guys what's up here. You guys wanna see it? Do ya? Here it is. So from what I've read, these castle ruins are as old as 1194, but they don't know for sure. I'm gonna make my way up to the top of it. 1194. I'm the only one up here, 
How lucky am I to have been able to live here for a year and a half and be the only one up here. This is half an hour away from my house. I'm over here standing on castle ruins that were built in 1194. I love being up here because I get to reflect on where I've been. I'm gonna miss Germany so much. Not just Germany or Bavaria, this particular part of the world. I have so many memories here. I can see behind those hills over there is Weiden, which I love, made a lot of friends there, had great times in Weiden. When I first got here a couple years back, my first spring here, I climbed that peak, just found it and climbed it and loved it. I can see Pottenstein past those uh, windmills over there, way out in the distance. This place has been my home and I, I'm really fortunate to have been able to live here for the past year and a half. Keep interacting with me if you guys want. It doesn't have to end. I'll take you guys to Portland with me. I'm going to Portland, by the way. <laughs> Portland, Oregon, which I think has a lot of similarities to Germany. So it's gonna be good. When one door closes, another one opens. Stay positive, keep your head up. I'm gonna miss you guys. Dear Germany, thank you for sharing your land with me. Although I'm leaving you, I'll always have the lessons that you've taught me. I'll remember to take care of the planet like you do. I'll put my phone away and just enjoy the company of others. I'll work hard, but I'll remember that's not what life's all about. I'll enjoy the simple things. I'll do better at learning my own country's history in order to move forward. I'll continue to travel and embrace other cultures and languages. I'll never forget my time with you and everything that I've experienced. Until next time, Germany, off we descend. Oh.